It's always rare to get a modicum of respect from the national media to Brony haircuts, but CBS Sports staff writer Cody Benjamin gives the Vikings just a, a smidgen. Just a smidgen of respect, uh, because CBS did a ranking of all 32 NFL roosters ahead of 2022 training camp. And you remember ESPN did a rankings like this uh, a couple uh, last week, and the Vikings (laughs) checked in at 19, a.k.a. uh, 14th worst, which hard disagree. Hard disagree, but Benjamin actually gives the Vikings some love. uh, So let's see where they end up. So starting at the bottom, now we hear Falcons. It could be rough. Texans, 31. Bears 30. I, I I think the Bears are too high, frankly. I, even though they got Moody and Montgomery and maybe Robert Quinn, nah, 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 nah. 29 Giants, yeesh. 28 Lions. I think the Lions are a little bit too low uh, on this. I actually like what Detroit is assembling. 27 Jaguars, eh, Seahawks. I, I would put the Seahawks below uh, the Jaguars and the Lions pretty easily. I, I would also drop the commies behind them, even though ESPN thinks that they have a better rooster than the Vikings. Get that out of here. Uh, 24 Patriots, eh, yeah, uh, Panthers. I would put Panthers a lot lower, uh, even with the addition of Baker Mayfield. In fact, I would actually make them lower because of the addition of Baker Mayfield. Man, uh, twenty-two Titans. It really is a, it really is a one-man show. Derrick Henry, and he's getting older and coming off an of injury. Jeffrey Simmons is a stud, though. I'm not gonna lie there. Uh, but yeah, giving away AJ Brown. Nah, Saints. Uh, finally. Finally, 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 someone is accurate on the Saints. Because uh, remember, the ESPN rankings actually had the Saints as the 11th best roster in the league. No, 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 no. Because they had to get rid of uh, Armstead, and they're just not the same. They're just not the same Saints. Sure, they added Olave and maybe Michael Thomas come back. Oh, they signed Jarvis Landry. Great. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But I'd like to mention here, the lost Marcus Williams, the lost Jenkins. Uh, Cam Jordan is getting older. Uh, same thing with Demario Davis. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh, they got Honey Badger. What's left of them? Uh, Jets. Jets have a good young team, man. Not going to lie. I like what they're assembling there. Cardinals. I would put Cardinals a little bit lower is what it is there. Uh, 18 Niners. I mean, uh, that's a little bit low. Where are the... Uh, where, where do you spend? Uh, they had the Niners at 13, 18. Yeah. I'll put the Steelers lower. Uh, Colts. Colts is fine. Browns. Finally, 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 finally. Because ESPN was all up on the Browns. So they had ESPN had the Browns as the sixth best roster in the league. No. False. Falsetto. 14 Dolphins. Uh, again, finally. Uh, again, we're giving a lot of props to Cody Benjamin. Because uh, ESPN had the Dolphins in the top 10. Nah, like even though 14 is still pretty damn high for the Dolphins, I mean, they have a talented team to a degree, but not top 10. Uh, and so Vikings right right here, and here's what Cody wrote. Uh, he may not have the resume to inspire confidence in a title run, but Kirk Cousins uh, has been an above-average starter for most of his career. Facts. Uh, as long as he's paired with Dalvin Cook and Justin Jefferson, two of the game's most electrifying players at their respective positions. For, you forgot about C.J. Ham. C.J. Ham is the most electric fullback in the league. Uh, He'll have Minnesota in the mix until late in the year. As is often the case here, the line could stand to be more consistent, but throw in the secondary pieces like Adam Thielen, Irv Smith Jr., and it's a really balanced offense. Mike Zimmer's departure, meanwhile, might actually be freeing to the defense, actually, uh, which uh, got a veteran facelift thanks to additions as Darius Smith and Jordan Hicks, a linebacker. Smith should help take the pressure off of Daniil Hunter off the edge, and Hicks should improve the run D next to Eric Kendricks. Didn't even mention uh, the addition Harrison Phillips, uh, etc. So Vikings at 13, yes. Raiders at 12, too high. Broncos, sure. Ravens, blah blah blah. Packers are at what? Where are the pack? Let's get by. All right, so Packers at eight, still too high, still too high. Now it's not like ESPN that had the Packers in the top five, but eight, eight is still too high. Like I understand they have eight, eight Ron Rogers, whatever, but. Now, bombed out and depleted. Uh, that's what this uh, rooster is. But for the Vikings, uh, I, I, overall, I think 13 is that's probably about as good as you're going to get from the national media. For my money, I would put the Vikings uh, pretty easily in the top 10 because if you're looking at this offense, like, like you mentioned, Kirk Cousins, uh, when he's protected, he can be a top eight quarterback in, in this league. And also you got Delvin, you got Jefferson, uh, you have the deepest running back room in the National Football League. Uh, you got Thielen, you got uh, KJ, you got uh, Irv. And if the offensive line can un itself, 
which ho it hopefully can, especially in pass protection on the interior. Uh, I think that they could have easily have a top five offense. Defensively, I mean, they're going to get after it. They were second in the league in sacks last year. Uh, they're booty against the run, but that should uh, change with the new scheme in there. And I think that there's a lot of juice. There's a lot of energy being brought by Ed Donatel. I think that this defense is going to have a complete overhaul uh, and be a top 10 unit this year. So top five offense, top 10 defense, and special teams doesn't kick us in the nuts. Uh, I think we'll be good to go. But like I said, uh, it, it is rare when the national media actually get it quasi right. And for Cody Benjamin in the spot, Vikings at 13, partial credit. We'll, we'll give him partial credit there. All right, there you go. Uh, but your thoughts on our thoughts. CBS Sports ranks the Vikings as the 13th best rooster in the National Football League. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts and their thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once worth the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.